Hello, this is Digital Wandering back at you again. And I wanted to bring back the iPhone 4S because I want to talk about iOS 9 a little bit more. Uh, the iPhone 4S won't be doing much today. It's just here as a reference because it was the device I showed on iOS 9 previously. But I have two additional devices. We have the iPod Touch 5th generation here from 2012 and also iPad Mini 1st generation also from 2012. All these devices are running iOS 9, but they have vastly different performance on YouTube as on the iPhone 4S. Uh, on the previous video, it showed that it would not be able to access uh, YouTube from the browser. It will just pull up a blank page. And we're going to try accessing YouTube on the web browser with these other devices. We have the iPad or excuse me, iPod Touch. Uh, fifth generation here and I'm able to pull up YouTube in the browser and navigate to my uh, channel but when I attempt to play a video it just uh, plays for one two seconds tops and then closes uh, so YouTube it's accessible but not functional on the iPod Touch 5th generation. Uh, this is the iPad Mini 1st generation. And it has a YouTube app uh, that is sometimes functional, but since it's an old app that probably hasn't been updated since 2017, maybe 2018 at the most recent, it often will give an error message when I open it and will kick me into the browser. So we'll just go right to the browser on YouTube and this is a random video and just want to see if we could play that video and here we go so on the iPad mini first generation uh, through the browser YouTube will work and that's one of the things that you will see if you start playing around with these older computers is that you'll get wildly different results from hardware that's from a similar time period and also running the same software, same operating system, same applications. Uh, and you saw in the previous video where I had an iPod Touch of fourth generation from 2010 that could play YouTube in a, in a browser, but you have these devices that are actually playing a newer oper they have a running a newer operating system that are newer devices that have trouble doing it. So the results are all over the place. It's really interesting to try to play with these old devices. And, and if you guys have uh, these similar devices at home, you may have widely different results for your own experimentation. Uh, but I just wanted to show that today I may have some additional videos on some of these devices that you see here. So stay tuned. Uh, this is Digital Wandering signing off.